And welcome back to the rad, unsad news. We are on the back end of a monumental month. It's huge. Um, and that is National Panini Month. Yes, and on the topic of paninis and or sandwiches, there's a new development that could blow the game wide open. Mm -hmm. They are called the Canned Wish. Now this is a crowdfunded company that just recently met their goal of $12,000. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a sandwich in a can. And what's cool about it is when you open it, it heats up. It has your sandwich ready to go for you. Will this sandwich be tasty? Probably not. No. But it can be. So while on the flurry of fantastic facts, this creature exists. It's called the Angora Rabbit, and we have a conspiracy theory. Yes. So as I'm sure everyone here knows, Jimmy Carter was actually attacked by a rabbit in his canoe in 1979. It is our theory that this is the very species of rabbit that came after Jimmy. Yeah. If any of y'all are friends with Jimmy, please be reaching out to him so we can confirm or deny if this is true. Also, we thought you should know that a piece of French toast partially eaten by Justin Timberlake was sold for $1,025. According to my man JT, it was slightly burnt. That's probably why I didn't finish it. <laughs> so something you might have missed from Last week, this past weekend, in Barnesville, Idaho, they have their annual Potato Days Festival. Now this is a family-friendly event full of lots of fun activities such as Miss Tater Top Beauty Pageant, Spud Run, Potato Sculpture Competitions, Potato Car Races, but most importantly, a mashed potato wrestling competition. Now this includes two grown men wrestling in a bowl of mashed potatoes. Fantastic. Now while on the topic of fighting, I'm sure we all watched Floyd Mayweather defeat Conor McGregor the night of the 26th. But what we believe to be the real excitement is just around the corner. Yes, this upcoming Saturday, Bring your crackers, bring your salami, because our man Ted Cheeseman is hopping into the ring in London. Yes, truly a monster in the mm -hmm. ring. Ted Cheeseman makes it apparent that yes. he does not lack toast. It is great to know that all his toes are on his feet. Yes, and we've been watching him for a while, oh, and yeah. boy does he look sharp. It's bound to be a Gouda match. Now, in the final bit of news, Colton, we are all trying to cope with the reality that is the new Taylor Swift song. Mm. But we're here to recommend a more positive solution, and that song is called DJs and Porsches. It just came out this past month by a band called Small Pools. It's actually pretty good. It's Gouda. It's a Gouda song. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all we have for this week's episode of Rad Unsad News. News. See you next time.